it occurs to me that everybody and their mother does unboxing videos and nobody ever does boxing videos and I don't mean the type where you put on gloves and beat the tar out of everybody. I'll leave that to Logan Paul and the others. I went and I bought a suitcase because the suitcase that I have is full of the stuff that I brought to wear and whatnot. There's no room for souvenirs. But I've been picking up souvenirs. So I need some place to store these and bring them home in. So, I even got one that locks for reasons I can't really explain. It just demonstrated it to me and I don't know, oh hey, that, that, it's on sale, I'm good with that. Mm. But, the most important thing is that I can just bring it home with my new purchases and we'll be all set. So, now I should probably go over those purchases. Okay. As soon as I get all these plastic things off of here. Mm. As far as I know, they're not anti-shoplifting devices. They're just these things. Well, that one came off so much easier than the first two. Go figure. Anyway, let's start off. And I'll probably just be working my way backwards. Because, obviously, the other stuff I bought in Lombok is right here. Okay, I didn't buy that. That was a map of the, the island. So, these are the clothes I got here, which I may or may not pack just yet. Because who knows, maybe I'll wear them when we've got a formal night. Collar and all, these really kind of look nice. Black, white, and blue. Eh, come on. Okay, that one didn't come out as well. And blue. Now I gotta fold this thing up again. Well, at least it folds easily anyway. Oh, and Daniel, I think you'll like this one. Just your color, wouldn't you say? Anyway, that isn't the only thing that I've gotten for you, by the way, son. And although, again, I hope you'll like it. Let me work my way backwards. I haven't bought much since Australia, but I did get you this, and I may grab some of this when I get home, too, from you, because this is going to be a mouthful for both of us. This was, by the way, before I got to Airly Beach. I got this in Sydney. So now I know what this is like. It might be still a challenge. But, you know, jerky is not the same thing as a steak. Um, I got this for myself. With, I think it's the rugby team, but I'm not sure. And then... You can tell me what you think of this, son, but I hope you like it with the zipper in front. And so there's that. And I can get that folded up because I'm not wearing it. This is for you. Let's see, what else did I get? Oh yeah, this one I probably should actually wear at some point, but it seems almost tasteless to do so. Why would I want to wear something advertising the fact that I'm on the world cruise, or more to the point, the Asian section of the world cruise, which is all that I'm on, uh, when I'm on it already? I, mean, I see people wearing these things, and it's just like, man, we're on this thing all together. How does that give you any bragging rights? It's kind of pointless, as far as I'm concerned. But whatever, you do, you do. You know, that's for something when you get home, and that's probably what I'm going to do. Same thing with these shirts, and I know, Daniel, you saw yours here, and mine here, but at least we have them, and I'll still 
keep this one in reserve just in case we have another tropical night here. Also got a couple of t-shirts in Hawaii. I think I mentioned this when I was wandering around in Honolulu. These are the ones that I found that I was intrigued by. They had bargains on much lower, you know, if you bought more, but I couldn't find anything else that was really interesting. And let's see, what else did I get? Um, I think the most, most of the other stuff was comestibles of some sort or another. But, you know, since they're still in the bag, told you about this one. Kona Lisa, I just love the design on this. This is beautiful. Put a smile on your face. What a slogan. I mean, I can't get over that one. That's hilarious. 10 out of 10. I don't even care what it tastes like. Got some other Kona granulated coffee, or at least Hawaiian grown stuff. Um, this one is probably going to be for you, Ellen. Uh, coconut macadamia. Uh, dark chocolate. Hopefully this is gluten-free and you can enjoy it in the best of health. Uh, likewise, we'll have some of these too when we get home. Dark chocolate macadamia stuff. But I know you like macadamia, I, your coconuts in particular. I don't know quite what to do about the New, the New Zealand Makuna honey. Manuka, not Makuna. That's more like uh, Timon and Pumbaa. Oh well. <laughs> I have heard that you can smear this on a cut and it will actually do you good. Um, but I guess you can also take it internally because it's honey. So I'm not sure which one is more healthy for you or not, but that's that much we know. And finally, because it's earliest of them all, is some Akaka Falls jam. Uh, in this case is a spiced orange cranberry. They had this at the Arts and Crafts Festival, gave me a sample of it, and I'm like, this is really good. And this is slightly spiced, so it tastes like it tastes like Christmas. I'm not sure I'd smear it on my ham or my turkey or anything like that, but it really it really does taste kind of Christmassy. I gotta admit that much. So I'm gonna actually start putting this stuff in the suitcase so that we don't have to deal with it later on. And I'll probably be adding to it as I buy stuff later on too. But at least now that I have a suitcase, I've got somewhere to put this stuff. And I also have bags for certain places that won't necessarily offer them. So I really probably ought to fold some of these up and put them in my backpack for when I go on one excursion or another so that I don't have to bother with, you know, asking for shopping bags in future because it seems that most places either don't ask and don't provide them or they'll charge you for them. And, you know, I figure if they're going to charge me, I might as well get some more use out of them than one time. Now, I've got to get this back into the suitcase. Or actually into it, not back into it, but you get the idea. Okay, so. It's really fairly straightforward from here, I guess. It's just a matter of uh, putting everything in here such that it doesn't cause any problems. is going to be a problem, but you know, you never know. So I'll put these in here. I'll leave this out. This can get packed up. This, oh boy, I'm torn on it. Again, like with the Hawaiian one, and like with the World Cruise one, I don't see the reason to brag about this sort of thing, since you know, we're all travelers here. And you know, I was going to basically do a video essay to that effect at some point, and I may still yet, but yeah, these things I just will hang on to because they don't just scream like I've gotten them here or anything like that. They're just nice clothes, something to wear for the formal night, but at least this way I can get all this stuff 
in here, zipped up, and it'll be good to go when I am. And I won't have to pay DHL or something like that to get everything shipped home because it doesn't fit in the suitcase that I've already brought. So that's always nice. I may never use this suitcase again, I'll be honest with you. Um, or I may use it many times in the future, who knows? But, I mean, I've gotten rid of an awful lot of suitcases thanks to Jan and her insistence that I purge as much as I'm not going to use. But at least I have this one use out of it and it's a good use. And we're all set with this. Until, you know, tomorrow when I've bought more stuff and I need to put it in here too. And who knows, maybe I'll do another one of these boxing videos as I continue to pack away a few more ports worth of purchases. But anyway, that's basically it. It's a little bit less than I thought it was going to take, but that's fine. And I think I've wrapped up the day and am happier for it. So, I will see you guys later, and hopefully, you guys take care. I'll talk to you another time. Till then, keep in touch, and I look forward to seeing you when I get home. Take care.